Mike Peden here with Sydney Coffee, and it just seems like last year that uh, you picked up your first state title, and uh, all of a sudden you picked up back-to-back. Uh, -back. Congratulations. Thank you so much. What was a big improvement for you uh, this season? Uh, there was a Star Tribune piece about how you took more of a leadership role. How do you think that enveloped in the state tournament? Um, well, I knew that I had to take a leadership role because last year I depended on the seniors a lot, so being vocal with my teammates in a positive way was definitely a big way to um, get them going. And what was the challenge for this team to continue bettering themselves? Because when you defeat opponents in the manner that you do, sometimes it can be tempting to fall into complacency, and we didn't see that with Hopkins. Every night, full court press, and we saw a very powerful Hopkins squad. Right. We're never, ever, ever, ever going to back down from anyone. We have to play every game like it's our last, because it's a great opportunity to be on the floor. So even against the Minnesota Lynx, you would uh, press? <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Yeah. How does this set you up as you begin your career at uh, Marist, who made the NCAA tournament this year, if I'm correct? Yeah, going out with a bang is great. I mean, I'm really excited to play for Marist, so I'm glad that we could win the state championship. And what was the support like this year? I happened to cover the quarterfinal game. There was a huge busload of kids, and so someone who might be watching the finals tonight might wonder, are they giving you guys the short end of the stick and uh, not, the, not the case as we saw, especially on Wednesday? Yeah, no, we have a great support system, so it's really good. And when you were down 8-1, was there any thoughts, concerns, or just what, uh, ha what happened those first couple minutes uh, to Hawkins uh, some time to get going? The game is all about making runs, so they're going to make runs and we're going to make runs, so we weren't worried at all. And uh, what does this mean for you going out your senior year with a state title and uh, leaving your younger teammates in a very good foundation? Yeah, it means a lot, so hopefully this will give them motivation to do it again next year. And. Uh, what else would you like to say uh, this year? I know your dad does spent most of the time up in the bleachers this, or the seats this time instead of on the floor. Was he less nervous this time? Or? Um, no, I think he was. Yeah, I think he was a little less nervous because <laughs> he went through the same process last year. So, so you, you've just been warming him up all these years. That's exactly. that, that was that was all planned out, right? Right, right. Anyone you want to say to the younger teammates or your uh, fellow departing seniors? You know, I hope they do the same thing next year. Three Pete. Well. The boys have done it. Uh, maybe the girls can do it too. Even if you're not here, three peeps still a three peep. But no matter what, congratulations and uh, go celebrate at Lindbergh Center tonight. Thank you so much. Sydney Coffee of Hopkins.